Well, I guess it really is off by the font. <laughs> I don't know why they would change that though. <sighs> but anyway. So, welcome everyone to a random late night Let's Plays live. I am Mr. Rumble Roses. And today, we're going to be trying an interesting little mod that I found for doing it in 3D. So let me unpause it real quick. Those alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. Alright. So here's the thing. This mod is called Duke 3D Fatal Mode Atomic. Or Duke, or Duke 3D Fatal Mode, however you want to say it. So, I came across this mod quite recently. Uh, on my DB, and it kind of piqued my interest a little bit because it's supposed to be like mod, like it's supposed to be like react, like a like a much more of a challenge for those who think like doing the like, 3D originally is too easy or whatever. And I was kind of like, you know what? I played doing the like, 3D so many times. I played it on basically like all three main. Uh, difficulty settings and all that. So I figured, you know, let's let's give this a shot and see how things go. And this can also be a way to test things out and see how how well how well it performs and stuff uh, on stream. All right, there are stream elements. But anyway, so with this mod. Here's some of the things that I know. All the levels pretty much have you pistol star each time. So like when you finish one level you go to the next level and you lose your weapons and I think like all of your items in, the, in your inventory as well. And um, each, each mode has like a, an increased amount of enemies to deal with. And as you can probably tell in the background or in the music of the game, there's also like some remix tracks as well. Now, there's also the lengths of new places to like go in some of the levels, and there's also like poss the possibility of more weapons to use and you know and stuff like that. So. I'm kind of curious to see how things go, are going to go with this. Now, for this run, I'm starting off on the piece of cake difficulty, just to kind of see how things play out, and then, you know, if all goes well, then maybe in the future I'll up the, up the difficulty a little bit more, and, you know, see how much of a challenge thing is, and stuff like that, so, yeah. Let's go.
Yeah. Okay. So the ammo count is still the same for all the weapons. That's one thing I never check because sometimes. The game, baby. Yeah, because like sometimes I can also, also change in some mods. Shinga in the first level, the first episode. That rocket uh, took care of it for me. I always found it kind of funny how, like, whenever a toy is destroyed and you see, like, this, uh, troop, uh, assault trooper or whatever, like, he, like, he's still in the sitting position, it's just... <laughs> So, in my testing of this mod, I've only done a little bit of part with Holocaust, but everything else, like, I have no experience of, and I don't know exactly how, I don't know exactly as to, um, the location of the switch or whatever to deal with that, so...
I will, I'll be, I'll be one to admit that that was not the smartest move I've ever done. And now we play the drinking game. I know I got a med kit now, but I don't want to waste it. At least not months of it around for that. This might actually be like the one mod that I might try and do where I do like all four episodes. But not like all in one stream mode, it's just gonna be episodically. Seven five three oh nine. Jumbling, jumbling. One one liner and do it can do it pretty like an hour to be taken out of context.
nine the enemies. Seven that I missed. As you can see, I'm back down to a pistol. I think there's one thing I can say so far that if you want to get, if you ever want to get someone a challenge to do 3D, there's probably something that you can be able to do. Secret area. Dude, that was up there. Ew. You can get it too for
Well, that was dumb. And I gotta do all right. Still over again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Give me a moment, folks. Okay. Basically, like, um, it took some of the levels to do different uh, 3D, which I think was like, uh, I, I believe it was like Hollywood Holocaust, Red Light District, and uh, the Stadium level, <coughs> and they just packed it with loads of different, with like loads of aliens. So much so that like chances of being able to do like a full playthrough of it is damn. I'm, I feel like we'll say damn near impossible, especially like do it with solo and no cheats. Playing that with one, uh, f a few of my friends, and it's just, it was just like downright chaotic. And you were pretty much bound to always like take take a few deaths along the way.
Especially if you didn't know exactly what was down below. Whenever you drop down on the main um, <coughs> streets of uh, Hollow Holocaust. I would say like so far with this mod It's not like brutal it's like like crazy and brutal or slaughter vampy in a way. At least at least it's so far, I mean cause like I am playing on the lowest setting skill setting for the time being. I would say, like, comparing to, to compare this mod with the Duke's Nightmare user map, like, this is one that you can definitely get through better with, without having to use cheats versus versus that map, and it won't like be a strain on your, on your PC no matter if it's like you know like really good or kind of meh.
Ugh, excuse me. Say, I'm digging the re these remixes so far. No pickup I have to worry about, huh? I do still plan to like play this play this mod in the way that I remember would play Duke. So like there might be some parts where I might skip something and it's gonna go like for a quicker exit or something, so
there's a random moment. There's a fire that's not even on the ground. Couldn't say it better myself.
Excuse me. Free the free the free the free I've seen before train gun ammo, but I uh, like the train gun.
know I don't usually use my roids, especially like in this level, but it's something that you hate the worst. Eighteen minutes. I apparently got something, but I don't know what I got. Unless it was probably just some pistol ammo. Oh, 
go grab me a drink and then she ain't gonna count on me. Troopers do that sometimes where it's like they somehow come back to life for one last hurrah. Piggies in the water.
Oh, I see. So look, he's trying hard. Once again, we come to a case of a dumbass alien. It's so funny to me, like every single time I see that. Cause it's almost like a guessing game, it's, it's almost like a random chance at times where it's like, you know, will that, will that alien, you know, be shooting at the wall constantly, or will it be smart and actually go, you know, target you on the first go? I remember when I did a stream, a uh, stream test of Duke Duke City World Tour, even on there still had that little situation. with the abyss you would have you you, you would normally have the jetpack you can just actually just you know fly you know pretty much towards the end or whatever or at least like fly a little bit towards some certain part and then when you get to the lava area you know do that and then
The fact that an explosion didn't do jack shit. Ha <laughs> ha! 
that's the last thing I want to hear in this episode. I cannot do that, per se. Spend their ammo for it.
Yep, there is another one. Sixteen minutes, fourteen seconds. Let's rock. Ritual way entertainment. Food looking three D fatal atomic. So, that's going to go ahead and do it for this uh, stream. I hope everyone has enjoyed, even though like I know probably there's not wasn't a whole lot of people here in the chat, but I'm pretty sure there might be some markers. But, I hope to those who watch this vlog later has enjoyed this um, Let's Play stream of the Nick 3 Fail a Topic. <laughs> I gotta say, um, this mod definitely brings up more of a bit, uh, more of a challenge. Um, it's almost like a way to try and pistol start. It's almost like trying to do like a pistol start challenge each time, but you have more enemies to deal with, and you got you get some new weaponry here and there and stuff like that. So, yeah. But yeah, that was that was not too bad. I mean, I could see the I could see this being something like you, that you could be able to do in co-op mode. I hope maybe one day if I can get one of my a certain friend of mine to uh, get back on Steam, maybe he and I can um, try these out somehow. But I don't know. But um, yeah. So. For starters, I normally would like start do my little outro and schedule and whatnot, but since this is pretty late at night, I'm not gonna raid anyone or whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna host anyone either, since I'm pretty sure most people I would host are already offline, but anyway. But um yeah, so this was episode one of Duke 3D Fatal Atomic. So I hope you I hope everyone has enjoyed. And if you enjoy what you saw today and you're watching this on Twitch, give the channel a follow and become a Rumble Maniac today. Um if you wanna help me if you wanna help me out just a little bit more, possibly help me get to that affiliate status, you know, spread the channel around, you know, help
want to get to that goal because I am trying to, you know, you know, possibly make a living out of actually doing a lot of streams as much as I can, and then maybe one day if I get like enough support or when I get when I get to that goal, maybe I can go to um you know get better equipment and do more for the channel and then some, but who knows? And um. I do have a goal on my Twitch, which is something I'm trying to put in the uh, chat right here. So, if I reach 50 followers here on Twitch, I will attempt to do a live stream let's play of Dude Nukem 1 live on DotsBox. I've, had, I've played a little bit of Dude Nukem 1 in the past, but I've never fully finished it. So this will be something that um, could be interesting, and also make for you know for like a starter goal. And um, if you're watching this later, when this gets published on YouTube, get channel a sub, which is just like following you on Twitch. Give the video a like, and of course, leave a nice positive comment down below. Not to mention. You know, to hit that bell on no locations, that way you'll never miss a stream or upload that I post on my YouTube because I do a lot of my YouTube, I do a lot of my stuff where I post most of my streams to my YouTube if everything goes well. And sometimes I will do things that are YouTube exclusive only for reasons like say I can't be able to do them on Twitch or for like streaming purposes or whatever due to whatever reason. So, yeah. Um, I might try and do a stream tomorrow night, which I guess is like, to, you know, to later on tonight, going into Monday morning, possibly around uh, midnight, aka 12, 12 a.m. CST. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll get with that bridge to if I don't do this on Monday, if I don't do this on, on possibly Sunday, then Monday I will probably do some more Super Mario 64 randomizer. I'll be, I'll be, I will be bringing back a seed that I was going to do at one, at one point, but I kind of decided to put that to the side because of how I found another randomizer for the game that I want to try out, and you know, see how that went and stuff, so yeah. Um, Tuesday, I might play me some more Boris in the Dark Survival. Uh, I may play around with some mods around with that, see how things go. And normally, I don't always stream on Wednesday, but due to one of my mods kind of taking almost this week off. Due to the whole quarantine situation that's going on, I might do a stream around midnight on Wednesday as well. Um, no stream on Thursday, and then I will be doing, I will, I'll be trying to do streams on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, which is going to be 6 p.m. CST. And it's also going to include the same time, and that's, that time is also going to be the same same for um, Monday and Tuesday, so, you know, be on the lookout for that. Whatever I do, I hope, you know, y'all enjoy. But, until I see everyone in the next video or live stream, take care everybody.